Hello and welcome to race night. What a palaver, what a start. I do apologise for that. Um, never mind, we're here and uh, hopefully you can all see us. I'm just uh, sort of looking around at my screens, hoping that uh, my little ugly mug pops up. And uh, Elishaw, no, I don't have the answer to question number 11. No, 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 no. Ah, I've got my face on one screen. So we'll see if it pops up on the other. Um, and hopefully... All is good. How are you? Let us know in the uh, in the uh, in the chat. Got my Bobby Dazzler on, ready to rock and roll, as they say. So yes, how are we doing? So I'm on one screen, but I'm not on the other screen. Oh, this could be awkward. Give us a wave if anybody's there. If anybody's uh, if anybody's still persevered through. Oh, great outfit! I'm. That, that means I'm on. Uh, I'm on. I'm on. We're on. Super stuff. So, um, great little uh, way to get together. I thought, why not have a race night? Finish off the weekend. How's your bank holidays been anyway? Have they been all right? Been up too much? It's awful, isn't it? Lockdown. First bank holiday we've had. Sun for God knows how many years. Horrendous. But never, never the mind. Never the mind. We are here. Man, I'm going to have to get the wife to cut me out or something. It's doing my head in. Are sheep running as you're wearing one? No, no. All horses this evening. All horses for courses. Uh, the first couple of races, got some great names. All real horses as well. Uh, actual horses that ran with these names. And then, uh, ah, Aidan, hello, hello. Did Mandy pick that outfit? Uh, quite possibly. Quite possibly. Anyway... So, the way this is going to work, uh, quite simple, quite simple, really, dead easy. Um, I'll show you the order of the uh, the horses. You pick your winner, drop it in the comments, and when we've had a few comments, then we'll be selling any motors. <laughs> now then, lovely. Uh, when we've had a few comments, we'll run the race. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the technology um, the technology stays with us. If not, we'll move over to Facebook and we'll have a disco. Something easy. So, let's, uh, let's get the order for race number one. So, race number one. Horse number one. May the horse be with you. Horse number two. Ha, ha, ha. Horse number three. Passing wind. Horse number four. Gee spot. Horse number five. Wear the fox hat. Horse number six. Mary Hinge. Horse number seven, R, and horse number eight, Why Kick a Moo Cow. Thanks, Jen. Yes, this is a prized possession of mine. I got it. Actually, great. Not it's not a great story, but I'll tell you anyway. I got it from a pub clear out. Cost me three quid. Boom. The landlord was leaving. Wanted rid of all his stuff. He said, "Do you want this coat?" And I went, "How much?" He went, three quid." I went, "Boom." done happy days so those are the order of your horses uh, so in the comments just drop uh the number of the horse that you want hello scanny so drop a drop a comment there what horse do you want and we'll wait for a few of those to pop in and then we'll get cracking with race number one 12 of you there hello all 12 of you Amanda, eight. Why kick a moo cow? Why kick a moo cow indeed? Lovely creatures. Aidan's going to have six. Scanny's going to have six as well. Mary Hinge. Mary Hinge, I think, ran at Chepstow twice. Cameron's going for passing wind. See if any more are coming in. Another one passing win. Number four, Gee Spot. Is Ella's passing win? It's more than likely. Right, anyway, enough of my ugly mug. We're going to get on with race number one. Fingers crossed this all goes through and works. So away we go. Good luck, everyone. There's a filly that it could have done a lot better last time out. Horse number two. He's one of those horses that usually fails miserably. Or sometimes it can be even worse. Number three, in good form at Haydock recently, but ran awfully at Doncaster the time before. Number four, nice and easy does it with number four, 
never far away from the action. Number five is my tip today, has been getting better with each run this year. And number six, likes to be up front, but never holds back and can finish with a sprint. Number seven, is a good outside bet, number seven, on finishing outside the leading pack. Horse number eight comes from a stable that has been very unlucky lately. Let's hope they have a change of luck today. We'll see. Just coming into line now with the starter on his rostrum. One prominent in the orange colours, the yellow colours of two. On the wide outside we have six. They're under orders and a short run towards the uh, first fence. And uh, prominent is one in the orange colours. And next to him comes two. Making ground on the near side is uh, uh, five. And five took that nicely. Ears pricked. A line of four. Five. Next to him in the noseband is eight. And then we have two in the yellow colours. And as they come to the next fence out there in front, it's five from two. Hard ridden with the noseband and the dark colours is eight. Green colours. Colours right against the far side is seven. A length back then on the wide outside to six, and there followed by one. Out into the country for the final time goes five, who's been jumping well, maintaining a lead of half a length over two. Eight is back in third place and pulled up at the back of the field is six. Three out, and uh, not much between two and five, who've been disputing the lead throughout, but look out for four, making steady progress throughout the final half mile, and now just only half a length or so behind the leading two as they turn into the straight, still going co in front there, five, a length or so clear from the yellow colours of two, but closing up right behind them and between horses is four and going well. Three or four lengths back then to the green colours of seven and the noseband of eight. This is the second last fence and five's going to take it just in front of four, mistake by two. That's uh, cost him dearly. One paced on the far side, seven, and under pressure is eight. Running down now towards the final fence and four going nicely on the outside of the light blue colours of five. As they come into the wings of the final fence, the jump's going to make the, all the difference here. On the near side, four. On the far side, five. And four goes right through the birch, and that gives the advantage back to five. Just half a furlong to go. Head to head, a real slog in the mud here. Five is now being taken on again by four inside the last 20 yards or so. And four forces his nose in front in the shadow of the post. Four takes it from five, and a long way back then we have for eight and seven. A really tremendous performance here by four, who looked out of it after that mistake at the last fence, but is the winner. First was number four, from uh, number five who jumped well throughout but didn't quite have the pace. So the final result, first number four, second number five, third number eight, and fourth home was number seven. Right, well, there you go. Well done uh, if you picked number four. Who got number four? Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's have a look. Uh, Jen, well done, Jen. I think, Jen, you were the only one in the comments to say number four, so congratulations to you. So, race number two. Race number two. We've got nine runners in this. Uh, so, number one, Hoofhearted. Number two, Leapy Lizard. Number three, Kofefe. It's, oh, that's what Donald Trump said, wasn't it? Uh, number four, uh, Boffer D's Nuts. Uh, golly. Uh, number five, Fifty Shades of Hay. Number six, Harass. Number seven, Husk is running. Well, that's, that's probably, that's probably, uh, that's probably going to come last, isn't it? Uh, number eight, The Wife Knows Everything. Uh, number nine, How Many's In This Thing? Oh, Aidan, what had you said? Dropping that out of the comments. Retracting your messages. Right, so Ellis has gone for four. Coca, you're going each way on eight and seven. Cameron's. One is a filly that it could have done a lot better last time.
The horses are on the track to run six furlongs, a field of nine set to run. Number one in the red silk started slow and finished fast to finish second in his last outing. The two in white has a very consistent record. Rune Silks with the yellow cap has a great closing kick and finished third in his last outing. Number five in the burgundy, quick away from the gate, will be the danger with a clear lead. Number six in the red cap has won twice from six outings this season. Number seven in the yellow has good early speed and just missed winning his last start. Number eight in the red was a top spinner last season who has been improving with each outing this season. And horse number nine in the light blue cap has a very consistent record with four times on the board from six starts. The horses have reached the starting gate. It's post time. As we view the activity in behind the starting gate, number seven moves in the line, just two more horses to load. The eight horse has to move into the gate. Was a top sprinter last season, and has been improving with every start to try to regain that top sprinting form. There's the nine moving into the line. There at the post. All standing there. And they're off. Breaking quickly for the lead from the outside. It's number nine. The seven is in between horses. Along the rail, it's number one moving up quickly in the third. They race up the back stretch, and number nine has taken the lead. Draws clear by a length and a half. Moving up from the inside is number one in second. Number five is in between horses running in third. The seven is on the outside in fourth, followed by number two in the fifth. And then it is the three running in six. And then the four is running in seventh, followed by number six and eight. They start around the far turn, and number one on the inside, number nine on the outside, and five is in between. They have three furlongs left to race, and number nine hands the lead by a length and a half. Along the inside, number one is running in second. Up on the outside, the five is third. The far outside, number seven is gained ground quickly into fourth. The three is looking for running room in fifth. They turn for home, and number nine has taken the lead. Draws clear by three lengths. Number three coming on from in between horses is down into second. Up on the outside, it's the seven trying to take third. They race to the final furlong, and this race is for place. It's horse number nine who is all alone. The three is in second. Number nine is in front. number nine, an easy winner. Number three, who finished second, and the two was third. Moving into the winner's circle is the very consistent horse number nine in the light blue cap. A very convincing winner here this afternoon. Here's the, the complete order finish. So there you go, uh, number nine had it then. So what was that? That was um, how many things, uh, how, many, how many are in this thing? So there you go, if you said number nine, did anyone say number nine? No. No winners on this one. Well, there you go. No winners at all then. Okay. So we'll move on then. Race number three. You never said it was on sand. No, I didn't say it was on sand. Some are on sand. Some are on grass. Some are fences. Some are, um, some are just straight races. Whatever they're called. I don't know. I don't really follow it. But yes. Okay. Moving on. So race, uh, race number three is this. Yeah, race number three. So, horse number one, I'll have another. Horse number two, Midnight Loot. Horse number three, Trump is no good. Horse number four, not a cat but a llama. Horse number five, oh no, it's my mother-in-law. Horse number six, stop shopping Maria. Horse number seven, Gollum. Horse number eight, Twinkle Toes. Horse number nine, Burnt Toast. And horse number ten, Carrots. Dave Coker, I should have known Russ couldn't run. No, he ran straight to the bar. So, who have we got? Scanny's got two. So that's uh, Midnight Loot. Cam's got eight. Twinkle Toes. Aiden's got seven. Gollum. John Gilbert's gone for stick. Six. Stop shopping, Maria. Uh, Luke Fisher's gone ten. Carrots. Ellis Shaw's gone six. Fisher's gone eight. Oh, sorry, it's Mr. Fisher, isn't it? Paul Fisher's gone eight. Jen's gone burnt toast. Amanda's gone midnight loot. 
think that's pretty much everybody that's placed their bets. So we'll crack straight on, shall we, into race number three. The Buglers call for racing action. A field of 10 ready to run one mile and 70 yards. Leading the post parade, number one in the green silks was never far off the lead in his last race and finished third. Now, number two in the white silks set a blistering pace in his last outing and then could not sustain the drive and finished second. Number three in the orange silks won his last race after trailing through the early stages. Number four in the yellow stalked the early pace in his last outing and finished second. Number five in the black silks with a red cap can really fly through the stretch as won twice this season. Number six in the yellow cap, a top thoroughbred who loves the distance, he can run all day long. Number seven in the green has a consistent record of three wins from eight starts. Number eight in the pink silks won at seven furlongs on the turf in his last race, tries to stretch his speed on the dirt today. Number eight in the orange, a speed ball from the gate, has carried his speed to win three times this year. And number 10 in the blue silks with the yellow cap has a consistent record of eight wins from 31 starts lifetime. A field of 10 facing the starter with a one mile and 70 yard contest in front of them. They're moving into the gate. It's post time. Number five moves up into the gate. And now the six is in line. Track condition rated fast. Ten horses facing the starter, ready to go one mile and 70 yards. There's the eight moving into line. Now the nine has displayed a great deal of speed in his uh, recent races. Look for him to be on the lead. Now the ten's in. Post. And they're off. A good start for all. Up on the outside, the eight going for the lead. Along the inside, that is the two, the nine on the far outside. In between horses, number four. And the seven is in between. The five stumbled as they went onto the first turn. As they race around the clubhouse turn, that is the nine on the extreme outside, the two next to the rail, the four is in between horses, and then it is the seven running in fourth. Up on the outside, it is the eight in fifth, and then it is back to number six and six, followed by the five running in seventh as they move off the turn and onto the back stretch. Number one is in eighth. That's the nine who takes the lead by a neck, the four running in second. The seven is in between horses and gaining ground inch by inch in third. The eight is on the outside running in fourth. The first four tightly grouped as they run up the back stretch. And uh, then along the inside, number six is running in fifth, followed by the five in a six. Along the inside, it is the two running in seventh. And then it is the three and eighth, followed by the one and ninth. They have a half a mile still to race and move on to the far turn. Number seven, Powers to the lead, opens up a length and a half, gaining ground up on the outside. Number eight, number nine in between horses, the four along the inside. The six is gaining ground and coming up the rail, saving ground. That's number three, suddenly into contention. It's the seven with the lead and now the three angles off the rail. The nine from in between horses. They are at the top of the home stretch and number three has the lead by a head. The seven is running in second and then gaining ground along the inside. Number eight is into third. They're inside the final furlong. The three on the outside is a short lead. The seven digs in along the rail. It's the seven and three. They're battling stride for stride. Number one running in third. Changes course to the outside. Number three has a short lead. Number seven is next. Number three's in front. Number three is the official winner. Number seven was second, number one third, and number four finished fourth. And now returning to the winner's circle is horse number three in the orange and blue silks like an express train moved by the early leaders rounding the far turn and then held off number seven to score a length win. Number one was third, the four was fourth, the five was fifth, followed by the 10, six, eight, nine, and two. So there we go, uh, race number three, won by, what was it? Um, 
I remind myself, uh, Trump is no good. Well, at least it was a fair reflection, I suppose. Um, so that was uh, race number three. How did we get on? Did we have a winner, that one? Did anybody say three? Da, da, da. No. No winners again. Has Oscar finished the last race yet? No, he's still in the bar. He's still in the bar, having a, having a drink. Um, okay. So no winners for the last two races. Uh, so race two and three, no winners. And uh, so Jen, you're the only winner this evening so far. Congrats to you. Anyway, on to race number four. So I've got to be careful here. There's a few, there's a few tonguey twisters in here. Okay. Number one, Anita P. Freely. Number two, Chit Hot. Number three, Cupid Stunt. Number four, Ed Start. Number five, Harry Balls. Number six, Herman the German. Number seven, In the Lead. Number eight, Ivana Tinkle. Number nine, Good. Number ten, No F in Chance. Number eleven, Oops, Wrong Way. And number twelve, Too Hot to Trot. So... Chuck them in the comments. Who are you having? Paul Fisher's gone for three. Cam Jones is having six. Aiden's having five. Five for Luke Fisher. Um, not sure if they're statements or they're picking their horses. Uh, better luck this time. Do you reckon, Luke? I'm not so sure. Uh, Ella's Fifi, nine. Fifi's gone for nine. Nay, no good. Uh, Dave Coker has gone for ten or two. He's going uh, each ways then. Nine, nine for Scanny. Amanda's having 11. And John Gilbert's having 12. There we go. One, two. Why is Coco picking two nags? Nobody knows. He does his own thing, doesn't he? He's, he's, maybe he's going each way. Maybe he's putting each way bets on. Maybe he's got his bookie on the phone. He's getting good odds. What's this? This is race number four, isn't it? So uh, we will, if we're all ready and uh, present and correct, crack straight on. And with the call to the post, a field of 12 thoroughbreds ready to run six furlongs. Number one in the blue silks does not have a great deal of early speed. The inside post position should keep her within striking distance. Number two in the white silk stalked the early pace to finish fourth in her last outing. Number three in the red silks with a green cap has a pair of wins from six starts this year. Number four in the red silks won against similar company in her last outing. Number five in the red silks has the breeding to be a contender in her seasonal debut. Number six in the orange silks was a smashing winner first time out this year. Number seven in the white silks with a red cap finished fast to get up for second in her last outing. Number eight in the black cap is another closer who has won three times already this year. Number nine on the back stretch already is in red silks is always on the board with a record of three of nine this season. Number 10 in the yellow silks with a blue cap can overcome the outside post with good early speed. Number 11 in the purple cap, a ball of fire from the gate with a couple of wins this season. And rounding out the field is number 12, and the gold and maroon diamonds, a recent winner at this distance, who tried a route race in her last outing. The horses have reached the starting gate. It's post time. A field of 12 thoroughbreds ready to run six furlongs. Moving into the gate, there's number three. Number four walks up into the gate. The first time number five has been in the starting gate this season and race conditions. Track condition just a little on the damp side as the horses start to move into the starting gate. 
And now with just two more horses to load, the excitement begins to build. Number 11 goes in. There at post. And they're off. For the lead on the outside, it's the 10, the 11 in between horses. And with good early speed along the inside, number one is moving up quickly, the four in between horses. They race up the back stretch, and number one has the lead by three quarters of a length. Number four on the outside running second, the two in along the rail, gains ground quickly into third. The 10 is on the outside running in fourth, followed by number seven in fifth. The three is running in sixth, the 12 is on the outside running in seventh. And then it is number 11 running in eighth, followed by the nine in ninth up on the outside. That is a number six running in 10th. They start around the turn for home, and number one has the lead by two and a half lengths. Number two is running in second. There's a gap of three back to number 10 and third, and then another gap back to the four and fourth. They have just a quarter of a mile still to run. They're coming to the top of the home stretch, and number one has the lead by a length and a half. The two is running in second, then the 10 and the four. They approach the final furlong, and number one is led most of the way, still has a four-length advantage, and then it is number two running in second through the center of the track. Number seven is third as they race through the final half furlong, puttering around number one, number seven, is second, it's number one all alone. Number one scoring an easy victory. Number three closed ground to get up for second and number seven finished third. Now returning to the winner's circle is a horse number one who used a change of tactics, flashed early speed and carried that speed throughout the six furlong dash to post an impressive win. The order finished number one, the winner. The three was second, the seven finished third, followed by the eight, two, five, four, ten, six, twelve, eleven, nine. There we go. Number one, all alone. <laughs> okay, so who's that? That was Anita Pre. P I, I knew I was going to mess one of them up. Anita P. Freely. Okay, who got that? Nobody again. Nobody in need to pee freelies. Oh. Well, well, well. We are not doing well. At this rate, it looks like we might have... Uh, poor Jen just went being the only winner. Okay. Right then. So, on to the final race. Race number five. I know it's over so quick. Uh, but these things... Uh, these things take some building. Right, so race number five, the final race. Can anybody win it? There's only eight eight horses in this one, so we might have a bit of a better chance. So number one, So Slow. Number two, White Lightning. Number three, Woody's Whip It. Number four, Yes But No But. Number five, Running Bomb. Number six, Rain Dance. Number seven, Lethargic. And number eight, Seymour Butts. Uh, let's see, who have we got? We've got... Uh, Luke Fisher's gone for three. To be fair, nine carrying me and Scanny had no chance. No, no, it didn't have any chance really, did it? Uh, Scanny's gone seven, Paul Fisher's gone four, Cam Jones has gone eight, Amanda's gone four. <laughs> John Gilbert's gone to relive his youth with number two. Dave Coker has gone nine. Good shout. Um... Uh, sure, time for more singing. Not tonight. Uh, Jen Blair's gone two. Aiden's gone eight. Ella's has gone eight. So everyone wants to see more butts at the minute. Right, here we go then. Final race. Best of luck.
It's now time to get down to the starting stalls for our next race. Horse number one, a top trainer, a great jockey, and they are both wasted on this horse. Number two, a beaten favorite last time out. Number three, runs on remote control. Pity someone's took the batteries out. Number four, leads from the front and often finishes there. Number five, if the jockey can have a bet, it wouldn't be on this horse. Number six, couldn't run any slower with three legs. Number seven, the James Bond of horse racing, finishing 007 on its last three out. Number eight, has an inexperienced jockey who will find this race one big experience. And they're being called into line for a chase. They jump seven fences in total and they race away in the dark green and brown colours. Number four is going to lead early as they come in towards the first fence. Four led over it from the blue and the white cap of number one. Green and red sleeve number three settled in third from the yellow and the black sleeves of number six. Mid-division at this stage, the light blue and the red cap is number five, who's closely followed in behind by on the far side, a slow jump there by number seven in the yellow cap. Then looking towards the back at this stage, the pink colours is number two. Also out the back in the blue cap on the outside in the yellow is number eight. Over the next fence, and six is leading, and it's six now who takes up the running. As the one in the noseband, number four, just starts to drop back through the field in the green colours. He was the early leader, but he's already being furiously ridden along as they go towards the next fence. Six led over it from three in second position in the red sleeves. Making ground going into third going well is number five in the red cap. Then the blue colours of number one on the inside still has a good pitch. On the outside then the blue cap of number eight, a length and a half then back to number two. These six just going on from the yellow cap of number seven and one who's totally dropped out of it after leading early is number four. He looks beaten. So they turn left-handed to come down into the home straight with three fences to jump and plenty in with chances. The yellow cap number six just about leads from the red cap of number five as they go over this fence. Good jump on the outside getting closer number three one again. Eight starting to get into the argument in the yellow and the blue cap. Still there. Number one comes through in the blue colours and travelling really strongly on the far side under a patient ride in the pink is number two. So they come down towards the second last. It's all change again. Three hits the front from one and then two on the far side in third. Length and a half now back to number eight who's trying to rally. A length and a half then back to number five and the one who's dropped away is number six. So they're running down towards the final fence. In the centre number one just about takes up the running from from number three, the near side, number eight, into this. Good leap on the far side by two. Five now just starts to drop away. The race is really on. They're on the flat. The whips are drawn and two hits the front and goes on inside the final furlong from three in second. Eight's rallying in third, a length and a half back to one. They're inside the final half furlongs. Two still got it by a length from eight, who looks a big danger. Two lengths and back to three, can't go with them. One starting to flash home on the near side. They're inside the final hundred yards. It's two. One's flashing home on the near side, though, little between them two and one they go past together two and one it's a photo eight was back in third four, three was back in fourth but look at this they're inside the final hundred yards two looks to have it in the bag eight's just giving way in the center but one is flashing home on this side and there's nothing between them they go up towards line one this side two far side and it's one who's just sticking his neck out and one gets it from two. It's very tight. Eight was back in third. Winner confirmed as number one. So the full result. First, number one. Second, number two. Third, number eight. And fourth home, number three. There you go. Would you believe it? On the line, John Gilbert's been robbed. Never. Oh, so slow was the winner, number one. Which means, I don't think anybody had number one, did they? You chose number one. Did you? Did you really? I can't see that. I'll have to take your word for it, I can't see it there. So, uh, well done, Luke Fisher, then, if you said that. Fair play. So, we had two winners, then. Um, Luke Fisher and uh, and Jen on the evening. Well done. How was that? Was that all right? Everyone enjoy that? That was a little bit of uh, something different this weekend. We've had a quiz. We've had a, 
a little bit of cabaret. We've had, um, what else have we had? We've had this, haven't we? We've had race night. So join us next Friday uh, again for another quiz, if that's what we want. If we're still in lockdown, if we haven't all gone mad. Luke, you chose three. You cheat, Luke. I ain't enough in that. <laughs> Uh, so Jen, Jen, congratulations! You were the only winner on the on the night. Um, yeah, do tell your friends about quiz night. Um, do pop along, get involved. It's a bit of fun. Uh, we had, I think, we had fifty odd live on Friday, and we had a uh, hundred odd views. Previous week was was about sixty odd live and. And, and 200 and something views. So um, all, all good stuff. Uh, and we're happy to do it as long as people want it. If you don't want it, tell me to shut up. Um, oh, comments coming in. Look, waiting for my prize. And hopefully that hasn't... Mr. Ella's ringing me hasn't... Uh, made but there we go. Right, okay. I'm going to get off before he calls me again and uh, tries to, to mess up the camera. So do hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button as well. That would be great if you could. Tell all your mates about the quiz on Friday and we'll see you then.